Hello, Disney and Hershey lovers. I'm Matt. I'm Alex. And uh, yeah, we're doing. We're here doing another quick off-season update. Uh, we're gonna take a walk over there on the other side of the park to show you guys all these what's been going on. All new updates. Yes, we haven't had the opportunity to show you guys the new fence line on in a video yet. And we. You, guys have probably seen that in some of our photo updates but not in a video update yet so we're going to take you guys so along park boulevard and show you, kind of keep up to date what's going on over there as far as park expansion goes uh, also updates on some rides that we've heard about and some rumors and possibilities that we're seeing going around yes yeah, so yeah just typical off-season stuff here we're going to just take a look around see what we can find and so we'll catch up with you in a little bit. All right, we are in here in the supply store. As soon as you walk through the, the doors, what did we spot? None other than 2024 merchandise. So let's just take a look and see what they have. Uh, cups, souvenir bottles, picture frames, uh, different size t-shirts right here. And over here they have children's sizes. Same style t-shirt, but in children's sizes, but definitely di various sizes here. Magnets, pins, snow globes, hoodies, all sporting that new logo there for 2024. So be sure to check this out. Shot glasses right there. More bottles, water bottles, cups, coffee mugs. They're all over the place here. So just pick up your 2024 Hershey Park swag on your next visit to Supply Co. Right as you walk in the front doors, you'll see it. All right, something new we spotted here are brand new markings right here. In we're not going to walk the whole way up, just, just a, up a little bit here so you can see what's down there. But yeah, the red markings and some green markings going the whole way back there, the entire length of this building. More utility line, lines being marked out. So yes, this is, we're seeing more markings around here. We're, we're definitely seeing we're definitely seeing more markings around this place. Oh yeah, and these are fresh. Yes, they're not just. It was done this past week. This had to have been done this past week. Yes, they, they're bright and fresh. Yes. But yep, yeah, yep. Yeah, we're definitely going to keep an eye on this. We're going to walk further up here and then check along Park Boulevard after here and, and check this out and see what we can spot over there. All right, um, we are over here behind Comet Sky Rush and you know, we've been covering this a lot via photo updates in our Facebook groups but we haven't haven't really been doing this um, via photo I mean video updates right so we won so you guys shall have already have an idea that there has already been a new fence installed over here but we wanted to kind of show you show this to you briefly in this video just kind of update what's going on but I mean if you look yeah, this, this whole fence right here was just recently put up in a matter of weeks. So you're talking maybe in December, early January, this was put up right here. So this is an indicator that something is, a, is happening, is a, it's about to happen. You know, we, we look back, we look back to the construction of Chocolate Town originally when, when the original fence went up down there. That was like in late 2018. Mm -hmm. And they started demolition of the old gate in 20, January of 2019. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah, it, and right now, now that they, they've got this fence up here, we are clearly seeing them clear more trees out in this area. Uh, especially now, it, it, you're, it's becoming more clear and more bare that these trees are coming down. Well, you, you can clearly see from our vantage point the back of Candemonium Station and even the back of Chaha World and that other building over there. Right. And before, this was all dense trees, a lot of dead trees and a lot of, you know, because this was a golf course originally and years of neglect and abandonment. And they're coming in here and clearing all this out. 
and they would not be doing this and not installing, and extending the fence line over here for no reason. Right, no reason, yeah. And down there, there's more survey markings. You've seen that in our photo updates already. Lots of survey markings down there, and a lot of them go to the back of Candemonium Station. We've been covering that over this past year. That we've been seeing markings and utility lines being marked up over there. Um, so, yeah. But if we... If we take a, another uh, walk further down here you can really see what's going on but right here is you can see how that, yeah how bare that looks right in through there but then down there's where the survey markings are right down behind Comet on the on the ground and then they go down to the back of Candemonium station so yeah this is all related to something happening here in the future future development and it's sooner than what we realize, as you can see, they're working. And they're working fast. Yes, in a matter of a month. This this even looks more bare from a matter of a, of a, uh, the past month. Yeah. Yeah, a month ago. Yes. As I said, they're, they are literally uprooting trees in this area now. So right now, this is really starting to see the first phase of another expansion. Land yeah. clearing. Chocolate Town. Chocolate Town. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, Chocolate Towns in, in dire need of, of more shopping, more r restaurants, pretty much as much as new attractions. I mean, there's really not there's there's really not a good restaurant in Chocolate Town inside the actual park. We don't count the chocolate here because you're technically not inside the park proper when you eat there. You know, yeah, Milton's they, Milton's and Chocolatier are, are at the located adjacent to the front gate, but they are not in, technically inside the amusement park. They need a nice restaurant in in this area. Quick, quick service, even if it's a quick service, you know, right. Starbucks doesn't count because that's more of like a coffee coffee thing. shop, yeah. So, whatever they're doing here, you know, new coaster, new flat rides, new facilities, something's happening here, and. You know, we're gonna. This is something we're definitely keeping an eye, keeping on. eye on throughout this whole entire year, upcoming season coming up, and throughout the rest of the all season. But uh, yes, it's a, it's you know, an exciting future on tap here. You can clearly see that. We are standing in front of Sky Rush, as you can see right behind us. And um, the reason that we're here is we're here to discuss about a, a recent teaser that was put out by Hershey Park Management here on their social media pages recently right. and uh, it's uh, a, an image we'll put it up here on the video for you guys to see but it's an image of the front of the front gate with a crate uh, sitting in front of the front gate and and it says ship first class ship first class yes and there are some other noticeable things there is a Intamin logo on the corner, and there are numbers on the other top. A code on the upper left corner of the crate. And the numbers are 275.12. Now, if you, if you don't sit and dig this out correctly, what does that, what does it, what do those numbers stand for? What do, what do they mean? Well, if Skyrush's stats are 200 feet high at 75 Five. miles an hour, the and the speed. ride opened in 2012. 12. Or the 12th coaster at the park. There was the 12. 275.12. Yeah. And it's an Intamin logo. Skyrush. Who, who is manufactured an Skyrush? Yes. Yes. <laughs> But, but here's, here's what's knocking a lot of people's heads and getting them excited because what have you been asking for for this ride for years, years and years since years. it opened? Not just enthusiasts, but the general public and general guests, too. Mm -hmm. Honestly, it may not be called Thigh Crush anymore. That's <laughs> just a long guess. But, but we'll what, 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 what other ride comes to mind in, with this? What, right. other, what other ride by the same manufacturer comes to mind when, when we're thinking about this. Right. The, what, what, what ride? What coaster? Velocicoaster, yes. Yes. Yes, and uh, we've mentioned that many times, you know, yeah. numerous times. Ve Velocicoaster, yes. just we, if 
same. all the enthusiasts said the same thing. If if Skyrush had the restraints, which they have the ability to do, well, this would be a top tier ride. But the but uh, but for a lot of people, there, there are quite a few people that have written this. Yeah, they quit because they, they their thighs, their bodies couldn't handle the design of the, of the yeah. lap bars. I, for one, have haven't really had any issues riding it. You know, it's a matter it, it's your it's a matter of who you are and if, if you're how your body can handle it. Mm -hmm. I have honestly not really had any issues riding this before, but uh, yeah. But yeah, the people, a lot of the people, I think, yeah, if if. if this is true, what we're thinking, what a lot of us are thinking, there's a lot of us that are thinking this. All you Skyrush fans, if it is yes. what we think it is, which it's almost obvious, you're not going to be complaining about Skyrush again. Yes, yes, Never yes. Never again. <laughs> oh, yes. Yes, so, fingers crossed, well, we see, it, in addition to the comet, new Comet trains, will we see another ride upgrade this year? Mm -hmm. That will be interesting. We will, we will see. We will keep following this and see what happens. All right, that just about wraps this vlog up, another vlog. And um, As you saw a lot of updates and things going on. Yeah, um, stuff that you may not, not normally see around here, you know, unless if you're looking. Um, it appears that you know, there's obviously big changes here, exciting changes in, on the, in store on the way here. So, any more final thoughts? Uh, just, as I said, we're following all this going on, and, and it's, it's something we're going to continue to uh, keep on throughout the year and, and following next year, too. Something big is happening. Yes, and, um, new fences, clearing trees out. You don't do that for anything, for no reason. Having out markings. And yes. Stuff. That's not random. Yes. So, yes, just continue to follow our YouTube channel for video updates as well as check out our two face our two Facebook groups as well be sure to check out our Twitter slash X and Instagram follow us there and so you can keep up on the latest on what we're doing here in the Hershey community and that said have a magically sweet day everyone that's all for today's episode we hope you enjoyed it Please like this video and subscribe to our channel. If you have any comments, feel free to leave them in the comments section below. Check us out on our social media channels, including our Facebook group, where you can meet other fans as well as join in on the various discussions on, of both Disney and Hershey. Let us know what else you would like to see for future episodes on our channel. Until then, thank you for watching and have a magically sweet day.